Hello everybody, welcome back for the second video of October for some more spooky speed art. <laughs> um, this week we are doing Voldemort and continuing on with our Harry Potter um, fan art or redesigns, rather. Um, please excuse my <laughs> uh, sore throat. I've had a head cold for the past couple of days and I just can't seem to get rid of it. A few days ago on Twitch, um, I did a couple live streams of uh, this piece, so if you caught that, you uh, you caught it in the make. I didn't stream the last part of it, but um, it wasn't very long. It was about 40 minutes, but uh, the finishing touches I put on it, I think, um, gave this piece some real character. I'll get back to... Um, my techniques a, a little later when uh, it's a little more finished, but Voldemort's book description was that he was uh, tall, pale, appeared like a skeleton, had red eyes, um, two slits like a snake nose for a nose, and long ghoulish fingers. So that was uh, that lent to some pretty creepy imagery. When when I went to draw him, I actually drew a skull. Where the where the head is, and then just barely laid uh, features over it, and and that that's kind of creepy, I I think. Um, that also lent very well to the to the shape of the nose. I didn't do it completely flat as it is in the movie. Um, I I really went into the shape of that skull because if you look at a at a at a nose in real life the bottom part is, is is bone and then there's a lot of cartilage and if you take out the cartilage you almost get those two slits uh, that Rowling was talking about so I, I thought that might be um, a unique take on it uh, the hands I kind of went unapologetically long with the fingers it's it's kind of unsettling and also looks a bit weird if you look at it from far away but um, I think that works out just fine. The eyes I made kind of a bloodshot red because uh, they're they're described as red a lot in the book, and um, I just I just thought that that, that bloodshot red would, would give him a more dead or like in pain look because of course he is pretty much a corpse by the fourth book, just reanimated. So I couldn't imagine that would feel very good. I, I wanted to invoke a sense that the, with the way he's standing, he used to be very strong and handsome because he was, but the way he physically looks, that he's really gross and spooky and probably in a lot of pain because that's what a lot of the villain arcs in Harry Potter are about. It's about realizing that the whole story is kind of uh, about realizing that your bully's in pain and that's why they're... Um, the way they are. It's a little less so with Voldemort. He's pretty unapologetically evil. But there's still that sense of... Um, I think in the fifth book, Harry realized um, he'll never know love, he'll never know friendship. And so he does all these terrible things. And at the end of the day, Harry should hate him, but he feels sorry for him. Because he Harry has something that Voldemort will never have. Will never have. And um, that's a pretty profound lesson, I think. So, so anyways, my, my technique with this, I didn't do any line art. Um, I just sketched it and then went right into painting. And I actually, it was, it was a little bit of a gamble because I had never done that before. But it actually really paid off. It, it, it has, um, not realistic, realistic isn't the right word, but the... I didn't really have the crutch of the line, so I had to kind of make my own form with the shapes and the shadows, and it, it worked out really well. That allowed me to do some interesting texture things, and it also let me really keep the original gestures of the sketch. Uh, at the end there, I, I added a, a bit of a green bounce light. I was trying to do this throughout the piece. I tried a couple of times. I'm sure you could probably see. I, th I think that again added a little more to the sense of realism so um, yeah I'm pretty excited about this piece um, 
and I'll, I'll leave you guys with the rest of it and uh, I will see you next week with hopefully a um, another prop video that's what I'm thinking all right see you later